Hi everyone, in today's video we'll take a look at opening up a model-driven app record from our Canvas app. So when you click the open it in new window icon, it will open up the record that you're currently selected in a new window and it will show us the model-driven app record. So the first thing that we're going to do is add an icon to our gallery um, that will pop out a new tab in our browser to open up the model-driven app record uh, in its own tab. So to do that, what we will do is we'll go to insert on the left nav. And what we will do is we will search for open. And you'll see the icon open in a new window. So once we add this, um, what we want to do is obviously resize it. It's rather large at the beginning. So 25 by 25 pixels is about, you know, is a pretty good size. And now when you go to it, you'll see that we're on the on select uh, property. Now, when you're on here, um, what we can do is there's a simple command, it's called launch. So when you use launch, this will actually open up a new tab and launch the browser window with the URL that you have uh, in here. Now, what I wanted to do was show what the URL looks like for a model driven app record. So here's my example. Um, what you could do is if you have one whole, you know, one site, you could actually just copy everything up to here where it has the, you know, the instance of your URL of your, you know, Power Apps environment. Um, and it also has a model driven app ID, which I highlighted in green here. Okay. So we have the main URL. We have the model driven app ID, and then we have the unique ID for the account record afterwards. So you'll see that here. So what could be done is you could copy up all this. If you have a single environment and you're never going to have more than one, you could do that and hard code that URL. But if you have multiple environments, you would probably want to break this up into environment variables so that you would house this um, URL in its own environment variable and also the application ID in its own environment variable as well. So we'll start with the basic of just copying everything up to the unique ID of the account and we will um, launch the record from there. So if I go to launch what I can use is the concatenate function and then what we will do is put in our URL here, comma, and put in this account dot, or sorry, this item dot account. And then what we will do is close bracket it and close it again. So now if we press play, we can launch, let's say AdventureWorks here in its own tab, and we can see that it opens up. Okay, if we go to another one and we click on it, so blue, blue yonder uh, air, airlines, it will pop up in its own window. Now, I wanna go back to using this same app for multiple environments and the nuances of you know, ensuring that you're opening up the record in the correct environment. So to do that, it's actually quite simple. What you will need is two environment variables so I created them here. So I created one called main URL, and this houses the, um, the, the first part of the URL, so of the instance, okay? And then the second part is the model-driven app ID. So if I go back to that Word document, here's the first environment variable. So this is the first part of the URL. So it's this with the domain and everything like that and the subdomains main main aspx app id that's always the same across all environments so we can actually hard code that into our um, into our launch item um, function this is where the app id can be different so if you create a model driven app in a development environment and you promote it to a, another environment let's say test or production it will create a new application id for each model driven app 
The only time it's the same is if you restore from, for example, production to your sandbox or, or development environment. And then lastly is the dynamic um, account ID that we will input based off of user selecting to open up that specific record. So what we will do is let's go back to our app and to retrieve the environment URLs, what I've done is I've created this with the on start and basically, um, you know, you set these, your set these, uh, global variables and you look up to the environment var uh, variable values table, and you just reference the, the schema name there and bring in the value. Um, there are you know, plenty of articles out there on how to do that. Um, and then I also have other videos that show that as well. So if we go back to our app, what we could do here is we can actually swap out any of the hard-coded areas where it should be more dynamic between vari uh, environments with um, our variables. So what we will do is we will enter in our main URL here, comma, so you'll see the main ASPX app ID, and we'll get rid of this GUID here, and we'll do a comma. And what we will do is enter in our model driven app ID, comma. And then this is what it will look like. So we'll have the main URL. We'll be hard coded the main ASPX app ID. We have the model driven app ID. And then we have this remaining uh, part that forces the unified interface. Uh, what the page type is, the record type is, that's common across all instances of our environment. So that could be hard coded. And then we have the unique ID of the account that we're opening. So if I go to here and I open up one of the records, uh, let's go to one down here, so Alpine, and you'll see that it launches, okay? So let's go to the production environment that I have, which uses the same functionality but it, um, it just uses different URLs. Um, so in this case here, if I go to the main URL, you see it references my prod environment. And from here, my model driven app uh, ID is actually different. So if I go and I launch from here, um, so let's go to city power lighting, you'll see that it launches my production environment instead of my development environment. So hopefully this gives you insight on how to open up model-driven app rep records from your Canvas app and how to work with multiple environments, ensuring that you're opening up the record in the correct environment.